Did you know that Dhaka City is one of the most polluted out there? Although occupied by a mere 17% of Bangladesh population, it generates a quarter of its waste. With rapid urbanization still predicted to rise yearly, that means more rubbish is on the way. Something must be done, and that's why we're here. We represent the voices of Dhaka, smothered in waste, who feel there is no light at the end of the canal. Waste pickers doing more bad than good through no fault of their own. Well, let me stop you there. How did you feel the moment I blurted out those raw facts? A heavy knot in your stomach? A slight heart pounding or an inescapable fear at the back of your mind, perhaps? Allow me to rethink our approach then. Incorporating the insights of Per Espen Stonius, who asserted people aren't as involved in helping avert climate change due to psychological barriers that we have. Cutting to the chase, we don't want to hear that there is a lot of trash around, or that they are harming us slowly but surely. As such, Shobuch Daka proposes a website that doesn't just spit out or go through jarring, barren facts statically, but rather inspire the people of Dhaka that in spite of infrastructural challenges, it is possible to minimize the waste that end up at landfills. So not only are we raising awareness of proper waste management, we casually insert the users on what they can do at little to no cost, even saving money long term in their everyday context promoting DIY activities, lifestyles that bond families, connect and nurture communities who can swap similar green views, all while saving lives, beautifying environments by adopting the three R's. Knowing that to freely dump waste equals dumping a part of yourself that you may never get back. At this point, it is probably quite tough to imagine that the plastic bottle on your desk or coffee cup can be a resource. In fact, you're probably doubting and judging why anyone would in their right minds click on a website about recycling. The short version, well, they have nothing to lose. Longer versions threefold. We offer one, education that goes beyond preaching, two, the practical value of waste gets demonstrated, and three, we act as an intermediary and springboard to direct individuals to the needed resources of waste management. Now, one DACA resident hitting the site may not amount to anything, but if 10, 50, or 100 start to implement these steps, let their friends, relatives know, hearing that to practice the simplified personalized action plan would make a huge dent to the volume of future waste. Because we aren't just figuring out how to remove the waste as soon as they appear in landfills, we are going for the source, and that is ourselves. Halting more resources from going to waste. Of course, we understand the situation may not shift right away, much like a culture shock, but we are here to get each other out from our junk. That is all from Bangladesh 2. Thank you and Donobat.